When building campaigns that are intended to target specific websites or mobile apps, you need to browse through SiteScout's available website and app inventory to make your selections. The Inventory tab is a large format screen that allows you to do this. It can also be found in a smaller format within the campaign editor. To open the Inventory tab, click the Inventory button on the main menu. On the toolbar, you have a number of options to search and filter SiteScout's inventory. Using these filters, you can drill down to find sites or apps that fit a specific criteria. The Exchange filter will bring up sites from specific ad exchanges. The Category filter allows you to show sites from particular verticals. The Country filter allows you to show sites that get traffic from a specific country. The Inventory type filter allows you to choose between desktop web and different types of mobile inventory. The Ad Size filter allows you to search for inventory within specific dimensions. It's also possible to filter by the minimum number of impressions that a site receives, as well as by new sites only. Once you've selected the filters you want to use, click Apply. The inventory list will be reloaded using your filters, and you can see a new count at the bottom of the screen showing how many sites or apps were found. You can clear your filters by clicking Clear Filters. If you know which website or mobile app you're looking for, you can also just type it in the search box. Once you've filtered the list to your specifications, you can get information about the inventory sources in this list. Two of the most important items found here are the daily impressions and average CPM. It's important to understand where these statistics come from in order to make use of them properly. Daily impressions found next to each site represent the number of impressions that were available on the SiteScout platform yesterday for that property. Although it is not possible to know for sure how many impressions will be delivered today, we can use yesterday's numbers to estimate what today will look like. The average CPM is the average effective CPM that SiteScout sold this property for yesterday. It's a great piece of information to help you determine bid prices, but it is important to realize that this average could be based on a very large number of impressions purchased or on a very small number of impressions purchased. It's also important to realize that since SiteScout RTB is a live auction environment, these prices can change throughout the day depending on other buyers that are bidding on the same inventory. Daily impressions and average CPM stats are also available on a per placement basis for each site. To access this information, click on the action menu and select add placements. Here you can see the placement on the site, what the dimensions are, whether it's above the fold, below the fold or unknown, and of course yesterday's impression count also found on the action menu are the site rules. This will let you know what sort of advertisements might be blocked on the site. It's important to understand that our system will automatically block campaigns based on these rules. Once you've found the sites you want to use, select them using the checkboxes and then click Add to Campaign. You can also just click Add All and all sites in the list can be added to campaigns.